Member for West Vancouver, Sea to Sky. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to rise today to speak on the importance of cycling safety. ICBC data shows that just over five bicycle vehicle crashes occur every day, and who knows how many single operator accidents. However, within those nearly 2,000 bicycle vehicle collisions every year, roughly 30% result in an injury, and generally not to the motorist. Now, don't let me scare you off with those stats, Mr. Speaker. Riding a bicycle remains one of the most enjoyable, cleanest, economic, and healthiest transportation alternatives that can be enjoyed by British Columbians from right across this province, including in my riding of West Vancouver Sea to Sky, where we welcome residents and visitors to participate. And at this point, I think I'd like to take the opportunity to put a plug in. Um, and if you uh, do already enjoy cycling, think about trying out the, the uh, Sea to Sky Grand Fondo, where you can enjoy a supported and controlled ride from Stanley Parks all the way to Whistler. And uh, it truly is an epic ride, and I can testify that it will be a life memory. But if your riding is of a more utilitarian nature, while many laws govern the use of bikes in British Columbia, including most standard traffic laws, we don't yet have legislation which dictates how vehicle drivers are obligated in their interactions with cyclists on the road. This is why the BC Cycling Coalition is asking this legislature to update the Motor Vehicle Act and implement road safety laws establishing a minimum safe passing distance to protect cyclists. With the increasing use of bicycles, it makes sense to join Ontario, Nova Scotia, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador who already have minimum safe passing distance laws. This amendment would help keep, or an amendment would help keep cyclists safe and support the building of a more active, mobile and sustainable communities. By setting a minimum distance between passing vehicles and bicycles, we're certainly dis uh, decreasing the potential for injuries and deaths, and it just seems like the right thing to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.